Hello, everybody, and welcome. <coughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm here with the Merry Gamer, and we are playing a CTM map called Terra Restore by Mythy or Miffy, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but either way, by this guy. Mythy. Mythy. I'll call him Mythy. Mythy. Yeah, I think it's Mythy. It's by, by looks probably. words. Probably. Yeah, I'll call him Mythy. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> So basically, I don't know too much about this map, except that it got great reviews, um, and it looks like it's a lot of fun. So I grabbed a good friend of mine, the Merry Gamer. We've been trying to find a game for a while to be able to play, and we've never been able to make it happen until now. Yeah, it's been a while. Like, I think, um, I'm trying to remember the last time, like, when, when I first tried, like, with that first map, I think it was... It was ages ago that when we, we saw this one map. It was, and yeah, it was like it June, just... and it was supposed to release in September. <laughs> like, we were prepared from June <laughs> to play a <laughs> to game that released something. in September that didn't release. Yeah, the guy, like, I don't know. Like, the guy was just, um, I guess he just, like, went on hiatus and then just hasn't been bothered to kind of finish it. So, yeah, I kind of might, just gone with this in the end. He might come back. I understand getting uh, getting busy with stuff. So, yeah, either yeah. way. I don't know what we're supposed to do in this, except for walk to the end. However, I would say that this is just a starting room, but Mary Gamer happened to find a hidden chest <laughs> under here, and we're not really sure why. Yeah, it just has six apples in it, so... I can't imagine that being meant for too much, because I think the game starts when you go over this way. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, if we should take it, or does it just clear our inventories when we take it? It'd, like, prob I it'd probably clear it, but either way... Let's say, many times in this map, you'll set the difficulty to peaceful for a second and then back to default difficulty that you have chosen here. I do this to wipe out all the monsters, so be sure to choose one. You can change the default difficulty at any time with the following commands. So he uses scoreboard commands to set difficulty. So slash scoreboard player set at a difficulty one to three. One is easy okay. to use, one three is hard. Okay, but there's no peaceful on there. <laughs> um, this map has been balanced around normal, so I would suggest setting it at normal. Now, are we the normal type of people? Or are, um, we, or are well, we hard okay. type of people? I don't know how hard the map is. Like, if it was like a Vex, like Vex's maps, I wouldn't touch hard at all. That's but, true. But I don't know how. Like, I like on the wiki page, he says it's a relatively easy CTM map. So, so we I might guess go with hard. hard could be okay. Like, what's the hardest thing you can chuck at us? A few withers uh, I, is my best guess. The only thing I get a little confused about is here is there's no issue sometimes the difficulty is not set back from peaceful due to the spawn chunks not always being loaded because of a bug with uh, MC. I have a workaround where the difficulty should be set to normal in case it fails but if you are playing on hard you might want to set difficulty after each boss just in case. Oh that's crazy. So Oh okay. So, so keep in mind the scoreboard player set at a difficulty three. So that shouldn't be too hard to remember. Let's try let's try hard. Let's okay, try it on okay. hard. Yeah. <laughs> um what's over here? Make sure you have the resource pack installed. This should automatically in single player. Oh yeah, this is cool. So resource pack, mm. make sure it's installed. Hit this button. Intense got, music. <laughs> yeah, we got some intense music playing. So my resource pack is working fine. Uh, warning, one of the loudest songs in the resource pack is this one, so I should be balanced well. All right. Mary Gamer. Oh, it's storming out there. <laughs> yeah, the storm literally started exactly when you pressed the button. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's meant to happen. Um, maybe. So, you ready to go? Oh, yep. I'm um, well and truly. Let's do this. Oh. Where is it putting us? Oh, wow. Your game has been up to... Uh, Hero, the long war on the lands of Nera has ended against the Legion of Exile. I guess I'll be Vuko. You can be the next guy. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, with the help and power of the <coughs> other goodness we banished Exile, the foul demon back into the former dimension. A few years have passed now, but all is still not well. Whoa, the portal just... Whoa, this is like a story yeah. that starts. Land in the store is scarred, and the corruption appears to be spreading again along monsters with it. So the oh oh wow this the floor is moving this is crazy. Uh, you you are the hope of us all. Your quest is to go out and restore the land back to its former self and abolish the corruption that may still lurk about. I have bestowed upon you the power to do just that. Oh, you will find mystical items in your journey called Terra Restores. You can use these in the chambers of Valor to restore the land and help bring peace to us once again. 
fleecy ah, box. Fl yeah, I was about to say I recognize that. <laughs> you must also find ancient wool blocks and bring them back to the monuments of the Lost Land in order to restore balance and harmony to Nira to ensure that this does not happen again. Those we never did recover. I missed the end of that. Never did recover from the monsters. These creepers look scary. Oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Take heed here, there are some followers in Exile still prey upon the land. They are not to be trusted and are a danger to us all. I don't have much time left here as I must go now. I fear you might not we might not ever meet again. We all depends on you. Your journey begins here and now. Good luck. I hope really not here. This is a scary place for it to start. Yeah, it's like the like creep is um, straight away. Okay. Oh. Good, good. Valley of Beginnings. The first steps are always the hardest. I I really like that intro. That was an interesting way of doing it, actually, how it teleported us to different rooms. That's really cool. Okay, I'll let you read some of these. Okay, so welcome to the adventure of Terror Restore by, I guess, Mithy, I think we agreed on, wasn't it? Or Mithy. <laughs> uh, this, this, this is his channel, so if you guys are interested in his work and you enjoy it, please do go over and have a look at his stuff. I'm pretty sure he has a few other maps there as well. Um, if enough people are interested, I would be. I will probably go ahead and start creating videos, most likely uh, making ones, so map making ones. Uh, what else has he got here? So, oh, these are the rules. Okay, so um, find and complete the victory monument. Uh, we need to use at least uh, easy, never peaceful. That's pretty standard. Uh, do not leave the map boundaries. Uh, find wool in chests. Do not use sheep, dye, or spider string. Uh, survive in any way you can think, think of. Uh, you may craft uh, resource blocks for the Victory Monument. You may use spiders, string, wool, but for not for Victory Monument uses, so beds. Uh, do not go into the nether or end dimensions. Ender chests are allowed and recommended. Okay, so and we then can what use these? ender chests, that's nice. Uh, commands enabled in the um, in case you get stuck or the system runs by redstone does not function properly due to a bug. Using commands to give yourself items or anything or sh ah. 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 <laughs> Quick, keep uh, it's just that that's weird. Oh, maybe it's because like, we moved too close to its area. We're pretty far. Right, I think it's the cow. The cow started the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, wait, us. was that the same message? Oh, yeah, it is too. <laughs> yeah, the cow Maybe is, it is the cow. <laughs> yeah, I think the cow is playing the game with us. Come on, buddy. <laughs> too bad I can't saddle you. I'll take this egg, though. Mm, might be might be useful. <laughs> so, um, I think what this is literally just saying, it's like, if you're getting the pickle, just, you can use commands to help yourself get out of it. Okay. Because uh, com commands are enabled. So, yeah, that's practically, it's pretty pretty much standard CTM rules. Uh-oh, watch out, here comes zombie. So we gotta we gotta go find something here like quick because we're already getting attacked. Yeah, like I don't think we're not allowed to. Well, technically we're allowed to break down the trees and everything. Yeah, I would assume it didn't say not to. Yeah, it didn't say that we can't. It just said the only thing we're not allowed to use is the string and wool to make for victory monument. Okay, I'm gonna run in this house real quick and see if there's anything maybe already started for us. Um, okay. Oh, there's beds in here. We can sleep. Oh, okay, so we can sleep away the the night right now, which would be nice. Yep. That actually will be useful because I saw a few witches out there. Good. Right, there we go. What's in these chests? Ah, torches. Whoa, a sharpness two, fire aspect one, knock knockback one brick. The <laughs> rock of the hay meadows. It weighs That's less awesome. than a feather. Here is, there was like 52 torches, so here's 26. That's half of them. They're just yeah. behind you. Unfortunately, there was only one brick. Ah, that's alright. <laughs> What's in this? Nothing's in the furnace. Uh, crafting table. We got some zombie flesh for food. Oh, there's something down here. Oh, watch a witch. There's a witch still over there. Oh, okay. And a creeper coming as well. Uh, okay, there's one chest. Oh, there's uh, I'm two... I'm gonna take out this creeper. Uh, there was two stone axes and one iron one, so which do you prefer? Uh, I'll take the stone axe because I have this brick. Okay, there's uh, well, there's two stone ones on the floor. Okay, I got them. That witch is scaring the crap out of me. There's a bunch of wheat coming up here as well, so food should be okay, but this witch scares me a lot. Mm. Oh, she's got the potion out. <laughs> she's like, I see you. <laughs> oh, wait, well, she's in the water. We probably can get her a bit easier. Well, she's not in the water anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is she... I'm gonna push her in the hole. Oh, I killed her! Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a chest down there. Oh, there's a chest down. Sweet. All right. Um, she didn't even touch me. Man, I guess when she's... Did, did she throw a potion at all? Uh, no. 
Ah, there's a stone sword, a leather cap, and five apples. Perfect. In there. You can take uh, that stuff. There's a mycelium, or there's a lot of mycelium boxes. I'm gonna get these. Uh, this wheat. Ah, okay. Uh, is there any other things? We got a castle up on the right, and we've got something over here with a command block. Something over there with a command block. Okay, I'm gonna have to replant some of this wheat. Ah, it's an info box. And keep some of the seeds with me. There we go. Ooh, there's something down here. We're okay. Info box. Yeah, it just says delightful info box. Delightful info. So if you've played CTM maps before, or any playing uh, maps on multiplayer, you may want to set difficulty to hard uh, for the first few areas. Okay, so so we knew what got we, set. Were, we knew yeah. what we were doing. Um, Already ahead of the curb. <laughs> so now I'm wondering if we should. How much exploring should we really be doing? Like, should I go up on this mountain top? Um. Should we follow the straight and narrow path? I guess. Well, we can do as much explore like. Um, I guess this. I'm gonna look and see if there's anything up here, I and if I think there is, this is like a boundary by the looks of it. Oh yeah, there's a edge of the world. Yeah, and there's a there's a big bedrock bedrock um, box. Bedrock I think that's box. where we started. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's yeah. meant to be too much off the cuff exploring in this map. Yeah, it's kind of just follow the path sort of stuff. Okay, I'm okay with that. I just need to know before I start. Whoa, I'm going down <laughs> this waterfall. This waterfall looks crazy. I bet mm -hmm. it looks awesome from the other side. Yeah. So um, we've got two options. We either go dead ahead the way you're going, or we kind of go up on the right up here. I see a chest down Ooh. there. How do we get to that, though? I don't know. I saw uh -huh. um, this water goes down under this hill. Oh, there must be like a secret passage. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, there's, oh, there's a spawner in here. Uh, I don't have a pick. Oh, um, isn't there supposed to be something special with the spawners though? Is there like a chest or? There's, there's some furnaces. Which have nothing empty. in it. There's, oh, here's a pick. Okay. So I got some, le what do you have for armor? Here, I'll let I just you got take, a, I got a helmet. Uh, you take the boots as well as the helmet and I'll take the chest plate. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get. So should we destroy the oh, You know what? Let's leave spawner? it there for now. I got a lid up. I will take yeah. some of these furnaces, though, just in case we... Ah, yeah, that, that'll, that'll be helpful. I guess I should take this as well. Yeah, like a chest for storage in the future. Yeah. Um. Okay, so now we need to decide which way we want to go. So, yeah, you're right. There's the up there. I think we always should stick with up. I mean, you don't want to get ambushed from the top, right? Yeah, I um, like that makes sense. All right, we'll go up. I, don't, I think that's like... It looks like it's like a castle or something. I don't know. It looks a bit weird. Up, up, and away. And so you're joining us from Australia, correct? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. There's so a spawner yeah. in here. There's some zombies. Um, I don't have a sword still. Okay. I just realized. Uh, I, I got a... Oh, um, if you don't oh, have, I have a the, sword. I have brick. Never mind. Uh, I got a stone sword there. I'm thinking we should leave the spawners in case we need to make like an XP farm later. Oh yeah, that, that actually might be quite useful. Because these are pretty easy to display. So I'm just curious if there's anything under the carpet. There's not. Yeah, that'd actually be quite cheeky to do that. Okay, there's another spawner that's easily taken out. <laughs> ah, take and that crafting table. There's some anvils up here. Oh, okay. okay. They're like... A Pretty sharpness much near destroyed. Sharpness two, fortune two, golden axe. Some <laughs> more armor here. I'm gonna take this one. You can have that one. You can have this axe. I, I don't want anything to do with that. Um, All right. I'll give you. I have. I got four. a stone sword. That might be useful for you. Here, we'll split this stuff up, and and there's that. Because he said he didn't have like a weapon. Sweet. Besides the brick, the brick works. Yeah. but it's uh, it's a brick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we take these? I'm but trying they to look really how, damaged. Yeah, how damaged they are if they're gonna last? Can we even pick them up with a stone pick? I don't remember maybe, how anvils work. Maybe. Yep. Right. <laughs> yes, we can. I All took right, there one we go. at least. Okay. Yeah, that that should do us. 
this area. Um, like we can get a good vision. You've got a good view of everything. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot of stuff coming up in here. I wonder if there's anything up there where that waterfall just looking, is. Yeah, I'm just looking at that, thinking like the other one. Is there something an easy way to get up there? Um, there's a it's a relatively easy path up there. We should yeah. Doesn't yeah, even look it like we like... need to break anything to get there. Uh, mm. We might need to break something. Oh no, maybe not. Oh yeah, we can get over here without breaking anything. This has got to be like. You wouldn't yeah, give us like this little... easy access. Oh, there's the chest. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> we know CTMs too well. Ooh, projectile <laughs> projection four, golden chest plate, a bunch of coal, and some cookies. Um, you don't have a chest. No. There you go. But you don't have boot. Uh, you don't have pants or a helmet though. Whatever. I'll live. It's all leather. No, this stuff doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't I'll just, do too much. I'll just keep. Well, I'll give you half the coal just in case if I just threw it in the water, just in case I okay. end up like dying. Because I don't know if this is a keep inventory. I would assume it's not. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it is. Like, um, like I died in the early, like uh, the, like in the starting start room. Screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I died because like I spawned in there at nighttime, so there's a whole bunch of mobs. So I died like with like rotten flesh on me, and I didn't keep it. So. So now the question is, do we go back or do we just go down this water? I don't think going down the waterfall will help us. Yeah, I'm just, I don't think so we can actually get back up there if we do. So, back onwards toward... Towards that bridge. I'm not sure if we should be killing all the mobs whilst we seem like all the passive ones for food. See, I've played so many different maps between like adventure maps and CTM maps and some of them that you're not supposed to kill anything unless they tell you, you know, like puzzle maps and things like that. So I always get mm. confused at what I'm playing and what I should be doing. Yeah. Like, I presume since this one is like, it's called Terror Restore. So I'm, I'm, I'm presuming it's like to do with a lot with farms and all that sort of stuff. So I have a feeling we're going to have a huge amount of food in the future. That is, that is possibly true. I like the thought process. <laughs> okay. But it might not be the case. Uh -oh. I hear. Oh yeah, I hear the baby. Is this uh, a baby one. spite? Is this baby oh, zombie uh, spawner? Or does it just happen to be a baby? There. Okay, this um, this one might not be too good. Oh, oh, smite one swords. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there's oh, a, good. There's a smite one sword in this chest if you want it. I don't. It's just stone though. I don't know what you're rocking. Um, what have I got? Well, I've got a sharpness two golden axe at the moment, so Ooh, that's not an, too bad. A, a flame bow with 64 arrows. Ooh, that's good. So there's also I've a got... skeleton spawner up top that I'm just lighting up in case we need an arrow farm later. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I've got a whole bunch of leather armor, like colored ones Ooh. now. Ooh. So um, do you have a helmet so... and some pens? Yes, I do indeed. And actually, you might want to put all these on because they have like, like project, oh, yeah. projectile projection and protect, protection and all that sort of stuff. Heck yeah, these are way better than what I'm wearing. Whoops. And I glow blue. <laughs> all fancy and stuff. Oh, look at me. It matches my cape. Oh, it oh, does this, too. This is awesome. <laughs> the map maker made this for specifically me or anybody that has this green cape. Anyone that has the Minecon yes. cape. <laughs> I'm sure there's not that many of us. <laughs> It's going night time. This actually might not be good. I fell down. Uh, oh, creeper spawn. Oh, you already took care of the creeper spawner. Yeah, okay, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. room that I didn't make it into. Okay. So what's up here? There's a bedrock box up here with a command block button on it. Oh, it's set spawn. Oh, it's set spawn. Nice. Okay. No, okay, didn't. so that's... It didn't, it didn't show the command. No. That's a little concerning. Um, yeah. Well, okay. let's hope for the best. <laughs> well, we, we slept in the bed, so... like. I think if we still sleep in beds, it might be all right. Oh, this is our first intersection. Oh, okay. Okay, upper valley um, of beginnings, lower valley of beginnings. And what's the other one? Uh, railway station. Railway hmm. station. What's this say at the... Does it say intersection on it? Oh, yeah, intersection zero. Is, intersection zero. <laughs> zero. Okay. Not even starting. good enough for intersection one. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh. I was shifting, oh. and it was a <laughs> half slab... Oh, there we go. Or a stair. Whew, that was scary. Um, I want to go to the railway station. 
I was thinking that. I'm thinking that might have the best resources. Or mm. maybe this is supposed to be the end game of, you know, this first intersection to take you to the next one. I'm not sure. Railway station. Whoa. Um, oh, there's an ender chest. Are these... Is this a storage system? Um, oh, there's an ender chest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put coal in the ender chest. Cart, cart and launcher. The Co there's yeah, a bunch of cookies in here. Hmm. That's interesting. Wonder why they'd give us so many carts with um like uh, mine carts with um chests. I have a feeling like this is like an area where we're gonna transport like our main base. So do these actually have anything in it? No. Should we follow the line? Like Um Well we might as well. Might as well find where it goes. Yeah, I'll launch. Wait, what, what, I'll launch. Uh, I can't launch you. Um, I can push you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. And I'll steal this minecart. Oh, okay. Um, uh, there's a f there's a bad guy, a spider on my track. Okay. I'll take the couple tracks over, and we'll see. Um. Okay. Wow. This is a big cave. It's going into. Um, <laughs> have we made a mistake? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn down my game volumes. The minecarts are so loud in this. This is going like, oh my god, below. It's so dangerous looking below. There's so many mobs down there in that cave. This yeah. is really cool looking. I mean, I've never think just laying tr flat track and like a line across would look so cool. <laughs> but it does look pretty cool. Okay, I hit the end of the line. Doesn't seem too bad out here. Following up behind you. There's a creeper below the track. Watch out, he's right below you. I just saw him. Oh, okay. Uh, we got another ender chest and a few more chests over here. Oh, we got golden apple and some more normal ones. Now, the question oh, is, why? Um, they gave us three silk touch picks and three ender chests in this chest here. Is this a spawn point or is this an info box? Okay, here's a set spawn. Okay, it's not my Which, spawn. I'm really concerned because... <laughs> it's not giving the message. Right. And I mean, obviously these things are on, because here we go. Whoa, name Valley oh, of Beginnings. Name. Area length 40 to 60 minutes. Easy. Zero terror stores, one wool, zero... This is cool that it tells you all this stuff. Location, a green valley, random images on Google, though the area didn't turn out like <laughs> all. Dev time, 67 oh, hours. Wow. Okay. That's so a decent amount of time. So this is intersection one, actually. Should we go back? Back to the other three. Yeah, because this does look like it took us to the next mm. area. Yeah. I am so tempted to kill myself, though, and see. You know what? Where is... Oh, we got, a, we, we got an inner chest right here. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to take out my stuff and kill it just to see if these spawn points are working. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, did, I wonder if there's a scoreboard. We should set a scoreboard objective um, for deaths after I do this. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I don't have enough room. Bye-bye, spider-eye. Sucker. <laughs> I guess I can just throw uh -huh. you on the ground right there. Oh, there's a regular chest next to it. Okay, here we go. I'm doing this for the good of testing. All right. Uh, good luck. Is there an easy way to just <laughs> squids or dive in? That's awesome. How do I have the best way to die? Because I'm not going to uh, die a zombie. Here. There's a zombie down here that you could... He's, like, just in the water. Oh, of course I hit the water. Don't kill me, Zombert. There's a chest down here, just so we know for the future. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I could have just used a slash kill command, but that's not as fun. Oh, there is a death counter. Oh, there is a death count. <laughs> and... Oh, and you are here. Okay, so us... I guess, okay. despite it not telling us the, um... The, the spawn, it actually message. does do it. Yeah, it does, so that's good. To know. Okay, that, yeah. Um, so should we head back and do the other three? I, I would one? think so. This seems like it's more farther on the game. I kind of wish it would have told us that, but I'm going to grab this. Yeah. Guy. Should we take this stuff in this chest here? Or should we wait for that? Uh, ooh. Right, let's mm. go check out the other areas first. Yeah. I don't want to be jumping ahead of ourselves, you know, that we already have done. I'm going to take arrows. I'm just trying to keep some stuff in my... Ender chest. chest. Yeah. 
I always find when I do CTM maps, I just hoard everything, though. Well, so do I, I but the thing is, if yeah. we actually lose it when we die... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, so we, we can use that button to launch ourselves. I didn't realize that. I think it launches all the carts, maybe. Yeah. Um, so... Oh, no, 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 no! Cart! Uh oh <laughs> Cart! I didn't bring another one with me! <laughs> this, the launch doesn't really work. Oh, wait, there we go. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, dying from taking so much damage. <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> I'm, I'm so gonna I die. I just came down the hill and saw that. I'm so gonna die. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, nope, I'm okay. I'm okay so can far. You, can you get back up on the tracks from down there, though? Yes. If I build a bridge, which I just did. Okay. Luckily, I had enough blocks to do so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me eat something here. I'll just eat some zombie flesh. Because my viewers love it when I eat zombie flesh. <laughs> It's not a bad food. Like, People get so <laughs> mad, though. It's <laughs> so mad. Like, it's a good emergency food. Although, I find it, like, I just run around on the fan server sometimes just eating that, because I get too much of it. Oh, hey, a did, you, just did you... Came back. Did you empty the chests up here um, last time? Like, where it had all the cookies? Mm, yes, maybe. I think I threw, you... I threw a bunch of cookies into my ender chest. I don't know if I got them from that specific one. Because mm. I don't know. Like, I'm just... The items were back in there, and I can't remember if you said that you grabbed cookies from there or not. Oh, wow. There's a whole... There's a little area down here, actually. Yeah, that's what attacked me. Like, a spider was sitting there exactly when I um, went past. I think we can... Um, we might be able to take this area. Ooh, I need to get back and actually eat, though. Because I'm yeah, I... regening. Uh, here is half a stack of cookies, though. I thought I had a lot more stuff on me, but I guess I don't. I had some apples. Okay. Yeah. Shall we go take on this area? Yeah, take on the little corner. Let's see what it's all about. With my smite sword. 